Hello, my fellow citizens of the seventh universe. My name is Pat Player Two Wish Specific. Oh yeah, this is what I look like for the people who do not know what I look like because I don't do face cam that often. So, hi, hi, people. <laughs> and this is a video kind of explaining uh, what my favorite anime of all time is. Now, uh, Rhyme Style did a video probably about a week ago saying that uh, his favorite anime of all time, which was um, Hunter x Hunter. I personally have not seen it yet, and I've heard very, very good things about that. And um, after he posted that, he wrote on Twitter saying that he challenges his squad mates and other anime YouTubers to make a video saying what they think their the well what their greatest anime of all time is. Now, I am just one person. I am not to judge. My bird's chirping now. Hi, bird. How you doing? I'm not the one to judge who, or like, the best anime of all time is. I mean, I'm just one person. I don't have any degrees on the wall. Actually, this is the dining room, so if there is degrees on the wall, I'd be really weird. And I don't have, like, the right to say what the best thing is, but I can express my own opinion saying what my favorite anime is. Now, people are going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit, like, uh, like, shocked a little bit because my because my channel is based around Dragon Ball Z mostly then there's Fairy Tail and Naruto those are basically oh and SAO SAO is there too uh, those are basically the animes my channel is based around but my favorite anime has nothing to do with any of those <laughs> it's not that completely my favorite anime is Love Chonibo and Other Delusions or uh, I believe it's Chonibo Do Gemai Shita I think the na the Japanese title is I should probably looked it up at the beginning of this video. <gasps> Whatever, it's fine. Um, but that is my favorite anime of all time. Now, why is that my favorite anime of all time? I mean, it's not like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Fairy Tail, um, Sao, Bleach, One Piece, all those uh, mainstream animes. And that is kind of the reason. I am not one to like do like go straight for like the mainstream saying that oh everybody watches this so it's my favorite altogether i don't really like that too too much i like usually going for like shows that not a lot of people know i know a lot of people know what chenbo is and for the people who do i know you liked it because chenbo is absolutely amazing um but i like going for animes that are usually like the shorter variety like Chinabo's only two seasons with 24, 25 episodes altogether, and I'm not like the biggest fan when it comes to like an extremely long series. Like that's probably why I've never watched One Piece because it's over 700 episodes. I haven't even started that, and I'm too scared to because it's 700 episodes. Um, yeah, so I usually stick to like really, really shorter ones because I can knock it off in like a day or two. And I could be very, very happy. Also, I am a humongous sucker when it comes to a good uh, romance anime. Or a comedy. Romance comedy anime, uh, which Chunabo is. Chunabo is like 100% a romance comedy anime, which I absolutely love. Like, I always go to like those types of things, which is a little... I didn't think I was going to do that at first. I thought I was going to go towards like the... Oh, I want to see people get freaking thrown up in the air, chopped up in 20 billion pieces, and blood goats everywhere, kind of like Attack on Titan style. But I kind of just like a simple slice of life anime that I can relate to, which is why I liked Chenobo a lot. Now, uh, I guess I'll just like spoil just a tiny bit of it, what, uh, because this, this isn't really a big spoiler, because literally it's explained in the first five minutes of the anime. So, I mean, like... I just like giving away five minutes. It's nothing. If you don't, if you don't want to hear it, freaking uh, shut your ears for like two seconds. Go like this. I can't hear you. Or turn the volume not on me. Um, but Chernobyl, what that means is it's kind of like they call it like a disease or something. But it's basically when you are like younger in life and you come up with like a story like you have a really active imagination and like you give yourself like these powers and there's this world that you need to go save and there's other people that you need to fight so it's kind of like watching like a magic like a basically a magic anime but it's all in your head 
it's like what, what your imagination perceives it to be, which is actually really cool because in my because that's how I feel it. The main guy character, his name is Yuta. He was into like all the Chenobo stuff, and then right when he gets like to the next grade level, he tries to like get rid of all of it and tries to make himself like become normal. So, which I kind of felt the same way at first because I mean that, like I could relate that way because when I was a lot younger. I had an overactive imagination, and I would like think all these like things in my head, or like I'd go like down the hallway, and I would like project like a monster at the end. And I'd be like, "Take this, you beast!" And <laughs> um, which in I mean I still think that in my head sometimes, but I don't express it that well. I express that in my role plays. Which is why I love doing them so much, because I, my imagination, I think all these things in my head, and I try to perceive them into Minecraft, even though Minecraft limits me like crazy, because I can't freaking have the whole map blow up and people jumping up in the air, because custom NPCs doesn't do that, and it's sad, because I want to have stuff like, like I have so many ideas in my head, but I don't know how to draw or animate either, so I'm just like, well, they're just going to stay there forever, it's great, fantastic. <laughs> Um, but, what the heck was I going with this? I don't know, but, uh, yeah, like, I can relate to the main guy character really, really well. And then, uh, the main girl character, which her name is Rika, uh, Rika, I freaking love that girl. I actually have, like, upstairs, I have, like, a model for her, like, like the, like the figurine for her. She was my first ever figurine, which is cool. Because I couldn't find a Juvia one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Rika's my first one, and Rika is still goes through the mindset that she's stuck in the Chunubo mode, which means that she still thinks everything is, like, magical, and she needs to, like, uh, like, she needs to, like, save the world to get past the, the, the barrier and things like that, which is really cool. And... Another, and then as the story progresses, you learn more about Yuta, you learn more about Rika, you learn more about the other characters that involved, and you see other people's like perspective of like the Chanibo world, and it's really, really cool, because once they get into the Chanibo world, the animation turns amazing, and I love an anime when it has really, really good animation. Which is why I don't watch Dragon Ball Super, because I saw the vi episodes and I got really, really sad. I was just like, I was watching it, I was just like, the heck am I watching? I don't even know, it's just like a bunch of characters, so it's just like, Dragon And then Frieza's just like, ah, oh, Frieza, you uh, monkey, you monkey garbage, uh, my feet are all messed up and it looks like I'm wearing freaking sneakers. Yeah, I don't like the animation for Dragon Ball Super in the slightest. <laughs> Uh, so, that, and, like, I find it kind of sad that, like, a little tiny romance anime has better animation than, like, one of the best, uh, one of the, like, the most, like, popular series in the world. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> but, yeah, like, once, um, they get into, like, the Chinese world, everything gets amazing, there's stuff falling through the sky, the whole area changes because it goes on what they think their head. So there's like castles everywhere, things fall from the sky, their weapons turn into like things that are the size of houses, and they shoot the crap out of each other, and it's really, really cool. And then as time goes on, there is the, uh, the uh, romance between, uh, between two characters. I'm not going to explain it because I don't want to spoil it. And it like, it makes me really happy, which is why I think Chernobyl is my favorite anime of all time. <laughs> now, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is my honest opinion. If you don't like it, and you think your opinion is different, and you think Chernobyl is terrible, or you think that Naruto or Dragon Ball Z, Fairy Tale, Bleach, One Piece is the best anime of all time, that is your opinion, and I am here to say go ahead that like what you want um i just this is just my opinion i know it's really scary that i'm posting my opinion on the internet because that's like the number one rule of the internet do not post your opinion if you want to get freaking destroyed but the fact that my favorite anime of all time is chenibo and i've never seen a comment that's like dissing chenibo eh, now that i said that there's gonna be multiple but whatever um like um, Rhymestyle did in his video. Post down in your comments below what you think 
the best anime of all time is. Is <laughs> I don't know why I always say of all time. Um, you can um, I know there's going to be a big humongous war saying what their favorite anime is, and I go like that. We can have like an awesome discussion. Just don't be mean about it. Don't say like oh. This sucks. You have a terrible opinion. You should go die because your opinion is terrible. If I see that, I'm going to be upset at you guys. And I'm going to like give you like this look on my comments and be like, shame on you. <laughs> and as well, I challenge other anime YouTubers, especially the ones inside the anime squad, what their uh, favorite animes are. I know what Jinji's is. It's freaking One Piece. I know that. Um, but... I, I'm curious, and if you guys make a video saying what their what your favorite anime is, link me on Twitter, and I'll be happy to watch it, because I think that would be really, really cool. And also, that gives me ideas as to what I should watch next, which is great. <laughs> so yeah, I want to say thank you guys for joining me once again, and I will be seeing you later!